what's up guys this is worse we're gonna be reviewing Doctor Strange I had low expectations for this movie because me being the big you know comic book fanatic that I am I mean I actually didn't know a lot about this character I mean I know about his origin and like like his backstory a little bit but other than that I knew nothing about this so I went into this with really low expectations and they came out really like well worth it I was really impressed and I loved it I liked pretty much all of it I don't really have much negatives to say about it. I don't have very many negatives, if any, but if I had a negative, it'd more probably be the overall um, quality of the movie. That No, the quality of the movie itself is extremely good. Yeah, the special the effects looks, was, looks amazing. Yeah. I loved like every frame yeah. of this, pretty much. But as for overall quality, it is still an origin story, and by now, they're kind of, excuse the term, but like meat and potatoes. <laughs> They're kind of like getting to this point where it's like, well, you kind of know what's going to happen and it's kind of grating. Yeah, I got a very, like, my friend pointed this out to me. He went and saw it like a day or two days before I did and he, he pointed out, it's a lot like Batman Begins, which, I mean, I really love that movie. So, I mean, he's he starts off being very arrogant and he loves his job and he's a, you know, a really good surgeon, but mostly he's in it for the notoriety and the fame, not for saving lives and... That's, you know, when he loses his hands, he, you know, kind of has to learn that it's more than just him, you know, get seeking glory and attention for it. Benedict Cumberbatch, he brought it. Yeah. I mean, he really brought it. I, whenever they announced that he was going to be Doctor Strange, I knew, like, he's going to look good in the cape and everything. I mean, yeah, all the actors, everything was on point. You felt like, you know, you're in the Marvel Universe again. It kind of almost had a Thor 2 vibe at some point, too. I, I was curious how they were going to handle uh, the magic aspect, because, I mean, a little bit I know about the character. It looked really good. Yeah, he's, yeah. I was curious how they were going to do it. And this, like, I like. I know there are a lot of fans out there of Harry Potter and all that, but, I mean, I like the way they use magic in this way more Just than they do. Hands. Like, way <laughs> more than they do in Harry Potter and stuff like that. I mean, because... Like, you have them bending reality and, like, shifting reality around them. Oh, and yeah, all, no all spoilers, this... but that introduction to the film was fantastic. Oh, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, it's it's really cool, and, I mean, for, for those of you that don't know, I mean, the one funny thing I do know about the comics is that back in the 60s when it came out, uh, the main selling point for those comics was that all the hippies and stuff like that would just buy them just to, you know, smoke and then stare at the images that they would draw, you know, that Steve Ditko would draw. Uh, I'm sure they were all smoking some stuff. I'm sure Stan Lee had some stuff in his body as well, creating things, you know. Well, I mean, Steve Steve was the one that did the art, so I mean, he, he just came up with the characters. So he was just, really smoking something. Probably, so I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, with all the weird stuff. Like Stan kind of so. shared. So. <laughs> Visually, this was an amazing Movie, like probably one of Marvel's yeah. best looking movies visually and the special effects team or visual effects or whatever brought it like so much. They I mean, really did. Overall I really liked it. I mean yeah, I I'd recommend this, this yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. This is not like some movie to throw away but to in the Marvel Universe this is yeah. really good. And I'm looking forward to see where this character goes because I know what he eventually becomes. I mean I'm not going to spoil anything but I know what he eventually becomes so I'm curious where he's going to go. I'm, I'm really excited to see what they're going to do with him. Man, the, the soundtrack, by the way, was yep. really good. But after the credits, obviously, there's always a post credit scene and an after credit scene, so be aware there are two scenes to see, and the post credit scene is probably one of my favorites. I love that. I all about it. I don't really think it's the best of the origin films, but it's up there. I mean, I, I'd say, especially visuals alone, almost, I'd rank this really high in my Marvel Cinematic Universe, like, catalog. I think it succeeded with, like, being excited to know what happens next. That's one of oh, those yeah. I mean, yeah. it just, like, it just kind of, it, it, had, a, it had a really yeah, good it kept, rhythm it kept to it. Going, yeah. yes. I think it is good enough for me to go ahead and give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I really liked it, Benedict Cumberbatch is probably one of my favorite actors, and I think it stands really well in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so I'm going to go with a 9. I say again, you know, me being the big comic book, you know, nut that I am. I, I, I knew nothing about this character other than his origin. Me neither. <laughs> I mean, I just, uh, I went in, I, I, when I saw the trailers and stuff, they looked cool. It's just I didn't want to get too excited, and then it'd be like, eh, it's all right. But, I mean, for what I got, I mean, I really enjoyed it, and I'm curious to see what they do with him, because, like I said, he becomes something really big later on down the road. So, I mean, I, I'm going to go with a nine and a half. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is our review on Doctor Strange. Definitely subscribe to become a worse friend today. Hit that like button and go see the movie if you haven't already. It's only second night, so you have time to go jump on the Doctor Strange bandwagon. I can only think about the Strange Love song. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. Batman do. I think it's real.